my arm. Okay, this video is to show you how to properly run your labs while you're in your home. The first thing that you need to do is make sure you have a clean workspace and you have any distractions out of the room. If you have pets or kids, make sure they're out of the way. Make sure you don't have anything that you use for food prep in the area so your counter should be clean and you just have your lab stuff basically set up. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm going to show you the Benedict's test, which is the test you're going to run in the chemistry lab. It tests for the presence of simple sugars. Whenever you're running the test, instead of writing on the beakers, I'm going to recommend that you label some tape and then put the beakers in front of the tape. And as long as you stay organized, you should always know what's in each beaker. So in this one, I have mixed some of the powdered glucose with water. This beaker just has basic tap water. In each beaker, I have a, a dedicated pipette. So that pipette is just for the water. And this pipette is just for the glucose solution. And you want to make sure you don't cross-contaminate. So keep your pipettes in their container. For the test, you will also need the Benedict solution. So that was the light blue dropper bottle that you guys had in your kit. Okay, I've got the test tube rack set up. I have a positive and negative test already run, but I'll show you how you're basically going to run the test. Um, all you need to do is take the pipette with the glucose and pipette some of the glucose into a test tube. Your instructions tell you how much you're going to use, but you really don't need all that much. So that was just two pipettefuls. After that, you're going to add your Benedict solution until you have a nice light blue color in the test tube. I know it's probably hard to see the light blue since it's up against the test tube rack, but there's your light blue solution right there. Okay. After you have it in the test tube, you're going to use your test tube clamp to clamp it around, and this will be easier for you to do since you're not going to be holding your phone in one hand. But hold that and then put it into a boiling water bath and this is just a pot with some boiling tap water in it. It's been set to boil already. You're going to hold the test tube in there. It can take up to two minutes to observe a change so I know this is going to be the boring part but just let it sit in there. Don't touch the glass to the pot itself. Just hold it in the water. If it sits in there for two minutes and you do not get a color change then that's a negative result. So if it stays blue it's negative. If you hold it in there though and you start to get a color change and you can see I am already starting to get a color change. It's starting to turn sort of an orange at the top and greeny towards the bottom. So where I started out light blue, I now have a positive Benedict's test and that was because I had simple sugars in that test tube. Okay, if you were to do the same thing with just water, this is the result after two minutes of boiling. So this is a negative Benedict's test. And the orange colors that you can see in the test tube rack are the two positive test results. Now at the conclusion of the lab, you have these test tubes that are filled with solutions. And what you want to do, put some paper towels in your trash can and then empty the contents of the test tubes over the paper towel so they will absorb it. And do that in the trash can. After that, make sure you clean all of your counters again to make sure if you did spill any of the chemicals, you don't then cook food on those chemicals. Since the chemicals never came into contact with the pot itself, all you have to do is just wash the pan when you're done with it. But make sure you uh, stay safe and you avoid contamination of the kitchen.